Valentine's Day is no longer just about expressing your love and affection towards the people you care about. 14th of Feb has become synonymous with those red roses, chocolates and for some an excuse to splurge or even buy some bling. Needless to say, it's a day driven high on emotions but also helps driving up the economy. Believe it or not, a staggering 25,000 crore rupees is what a 2023 Also Charm report estimates the Valentine's Day market to be worth. So let's understand what exactly people are spending on and what makes up that Valentine's Day budget. Also, show us some love by subscribing to Money Control's YouTube channel and following us on our social platforms. Valentine's Day is now a substantial economic event, one that impacts various sectors of the economy globally. What you may think is an insignificant spend is actually what fuels up sales of various products and services from chocolates to flowers to lavish dinners and expensive jewellery all have a part to play. Let's understand how. Suppose you were to buy some jewellery for your partner. According to a recent study, jewellery accounts for about 30% of the gifts purchased on Valentine's Day, making it the most gifted item. This means that sectors like precious metals, diamonds, imitation jewellery, all of them stand to gain directly due to the purchases made for this day. The most obvious gifted item on Valentine's Day is flowers and confectionery. It makes up about 21% of the second highest share in one's Valentine's Day budget. Florists see a spike in demand for roses as their prices skyrocket as supply struggles to meet demand. Industry experts estimate rose sales could see an increase of 300-400% to 400% during this period. What about chocolates and candies? They become a sweet symbol of affection. Sales of which see an unreasonable spike on this day alone. Now, as India's consumer preferences evolve, new trends are emerging within the Valentine's Day business. Experiences are increasingly sought after with couples opting for romantic getaways, spa packages or even unique adventure activities. This stands to directly give a fillip to the travel and hospitality industry. Thus, a dinner outing would account for about 20% of your budget. Now, many restaurants offer Valentine's Day specials to entice couples leading to the packed dining venues and also increasing revenues for the restaurants. The other components of that budget, according to a study conducted by .vu, places items like clothing at about 13%, gift certificates at about 10.8% and even though the era of Hallmark and Archie cards seem passé, greeting cards still contribute about 4.7% towards that budget. That's also because many of these cards are simply bought online. So online gifting platforms witness a phenomenal growth during this period, offering convenience and a wide array of product options, fueling consumer spending further. More people are now opting for online shopping, which is also strengthening the digital economy. One must note the role that e-commerce plays in shaping up Valentine's Day's economics. So these were some of the industries that stand to benefit from the hectic commerce surrounding Valentine's Day. Let us know how you like this video and if you like such content, keep watching Money Control on our YouTube channel.